Hello and welcome to another Dragon Storm Studios video. And today we're going to be drawing wings. We're going to be spending at least two days working on them. For the first one, I want to focus on one part of the wing and then we're going to be working on the, the larger, broader parts of it in the next video or, or a video in the near future. Wings are complicated because there are different structures to them. And as a result, you've got different lengths of feathers and different uh, lightness and darkness to worry about, shadows. So we're going to try and break it up into smaller pieces. But I love drawing wings because I love drawing angels. So we're going to be drawing Aurelia, who uh, from Magic the Gathering is the guild leader of the Boros Legion. And I could think of no one better to draw as Aurelia than Scarlett Johansson. And originally, I actually didn't want to draw Scarlett Johansson as Aurelia because I figured it was almost too easy a choice. Um, because Scarlett Johansson has, has played Black Widow, who is another red-headed, uh, powerful, superstar female personality, I thought it might be better to find someone else to, to portray this role. But I never, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of anyone else who could do it. And again, I'm... I'm not well versed in the new actors and actresses out there. So I have to kind of go with what I know best. And I loved Avengers. I loved uh, all of the movies that Scarlett Johansson has been in recently. Uh, Lucy, um, there's so, so many of them. And she's such a great actress. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to bite the bullet and go with her. So... You can see she has turned out quite well here. I'm very happy with this. I've tried drawing her before and it turned out all right. I was happy with it, but this one just is already looking better and it's not even finished yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out and we'll take a look at that at the end of the video. But I'm starting off with this portion of the wing here. It kind of is an extension of where it attaches to uh, the back, um, to I guess the, the shoulder joint. And you've got this one large piece that begins to skinny out and become what I kind of think of being the arm of the wing. Um, you've got the bones up here. And you've got this really fine um, plumage, I guess you could call it. I don't know a lot of the, the proper terms for these things when it comes to bird anatomy. But you've got these very small, finer, kind of almost furry bits of the wing. And I find that toward the edges, they do get a little bit longer. So you do get these wonderful longer lines. But in the middle, where it's coming towards us more, you get these smaller ones. And you can already kind of see the amount of work and detail that's going into this. So I am a huge proponent of drawing these kind of fine details, the minutiae, if I was to quote Rocket. Uh, from Guardians of the Galaxy, the minutia of a drawing, I'm going to be listening to music while I'm doing it most often. And here, of course, I'm, I'm talking to you while I'm doing it, but trying to find some way to distract yourself while you're working or take breaks because it is, it is tedious. And the worst thing you can do is start to get a little bit sore in the wrist or fingers and you kind of just start making mistakes. And the mistakes will show up better because they are different from the pattern. So you want to try and keep the eye just getting lost in the picture, getting lost in the detail there. And by the time you're finished, the entire wing, or I guess the, the, the bone part of the wing, you just get this amazing effect, which let's face it, you did work hard on to achieve, but it, it was achieved fairly easily in the end. It's a rhythm you start to get as you go. The other thing I want to talk about in this much shorter video than usual is just the fact you're going to have a shadow beneath this layer of plumage before you get to the different lengths of feathers in the wing. So I'm just going to darken a layer and I'm trying to emphasize the, the spiky, sticky, outy bits over here. Uh, technical terminology, of course. And again, a little bit longer on the edges to achieve that but it just it's worth the effort and the time to get this beautiful effect especially when you get a zoomed in picture like this if i was to draw aurelia from farther away then you're gonna get less detail in those wings and that's okay although you still get 
some of that wonderful darkness in the pictures here and there. So keep that in mind whenever you do work with feathers and wings. The closer you are, the more detail you get, the more work it is. But I think the payoff is greater there as well. So I'm going to actually leave it at that for today. I'm going to leave a, a picture of how it turns out right here. And I, I hope that uh, that you find that helpful. I know it was a shorter video, but it, it really is just this wonderful repetitive effect to create this part of the wing. Uh, I'm actually looking for more suggestions as well as to who you might fan cast for different characters from Magic the Gathering. Um, up until this video, we've only done Planeswalkers, but I'm hoping that this video shows that we could do legendary characters as well. And if there's anyone that you'd like to see drawn as a character from that wonderful game, please leave me a message in the comments below, and I'll be glad to definitely get to those. Uh, I am running out of ideas myself at this point, so please, please, please let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Uh, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, maybe share it with people who might be like-minded. And if you enjoy the content of the channel, please feel free to give me a subscription. It really helps support this small channel in terms of growing. So thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time.